for a start. Why? It's not the same, is it? I mean, if the actual possibility's closed off, it's like, I don't know. Alcohol-free lager? Not that you'd know. Nobody asked you to play the martyr. There are minicabs. Yeah, some of us got speeches to write. Cutting it a bit fine, aren't we? Obviously, nothing to say. <laughs> Ten years, and he can't even fill two sides of A4. Could have had anyone. What's occurring? No, no. The car is there. Alright, alright. Hang on. Hang on, Jack? Pollard, how did you get this number? Who's that? That's Mike, who do you think? I wanted Jack. Where is he? Yeah, well, he's on a stag night. I don't think he's in any mood for your shit, neither am I. I've got a lot of stuff to organise, alright? So just. What it is. Look, just tell him. The man in the photos. Yeah, well, we did get your negatives back. They're full of empty streets and there's no one in them. What's all that about? Where's Jack? Let me speak Good to night. him. Good night. He's at his girlfriend's, isn't he? Oh, he's with me tonight, and if you come round, I will have you nicked. Have you got that? <laughs> Look, mate, we're not social workers. I'm up to my eyes. Just go home, sleep it off. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> well, you left it on the dashboard. I thought it was a cry for help. Oi! Can I just say that you're supposed to be on my team? You talk about the groom. We don't want all this guff about her. This is just a few notes. And? Well, you're planning on being there, I take it. Only if you lighten up. Some jokes would be nice. Cut out the poetry crap. About now, there's stuff in the fridge. What are you doing? If tomorrow doesn't go like clockwork, it's me who's gonna get it. Just crash out. What, no pep talk? <laughs> if you need one for her, I give out. <sighs> I just want to say, Mike, in case I look at later. <laughs> <laughs> now you can get more than tomorrow when I've had a few. Get out.
police. Come on, you must have caught me on one of these. You are aware there's a drought order, are you, madam? We are away for a fortnight. I'm not coming back to a dead garden. What's up? Oh, nothing. You just got your machine on. Oh, yeah, there's been some idiot calling for Jack every ten minutes the whole night. I had to tell him in the end. You don't mind? No, no, that's not a problem. Ah, uh, look, I, I thought I'd drop your present off. Half past one. Well, only if you're out. Careful. Ooh, what kind are they? Don't do that. It's bad luck. It's past midnight. He's not going to mind. Listen, is he safe left on his own? Probably not. How unconscious is he? He'll be fine. Time's up. Furman wants you at the briefing. He's not going to turn up now. CIB, they want to work too. Some talk of Jack doing a run up. There's no nice way of putting this. Not now. It's not our time either. You know, we might have just bottled out. I keep telling them. There's no news. Right, I'd better get Dad to tub. Uh, that's my job. No. We'll handle it. Just. Just find him, will you? The last sighting of Jack is at Mike's place around midnight. If he was abducted, there's no sign of violence there. In fact, no evidence he even went inside. We're concentrating on the route between there and his fiance's house. As far as Pollard goes, we have sightings from a number of witnesses in the arcade and outside. This is what we're going with. May I introduce Detective Inspector Angie March and Detective Sergeant Vaughan Rice from CIB. They may want to talk to some of you in due course. Take over, would you, Pete? What about video? The area is well covered. He's not on tape.
Tell us about these. Uh, Paul Lord said he had something on this counterfeit room. And he thought he was being followed by one of them. He's going to get some photos for us. And that just about sums him up. Why was he on your books? Uh, it's a drug source manual and that dried up. Got past a few bad notes next thing he's onto this counterfeit room. Yeah, it was off his head half the time I was going to get rid of it. And that's why you left your best friend, Stagnite, to go and meet him. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I miss something? Was I cautioned out there? Steady on. It's not an interrogation. Michael, I'm not criticising you in any way. I'm just getting a picture. Did Pollard tell you why he had to see you last night? Did you not ask him? No, I didn't. He was paranoid. That's what Coke does to you. Can't have been that paranoid. Well, he called that Jack half a dozen times last month for nothing. So why go last night? Because he would have turned up at the reception if I hadn't. Did Pollard say anything to you? However bizarre. He wanted to speak to Jack. And you don't know why. Anything you can think of. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I'll hold. Francis, hi, how are you doing? Well, it hasn't been that long, has it? Yeah, all right, take your point. No, I do want to see you. Uh, yeah, a couple of names, actually. Um, Angie March and Vaughan Rice. Uh, CIB, supposedly. Oh, dinner's no good. No, 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 lunch is fine. Uh, look, can I, can I call you back? Yeah, all right, bye. Close range, no question. See the burns? There was no one near it. Mm, then he must have been shot outside. What, the late reaction? <laughs> have you seen the amount of drugs in it? He had an offshore account, you know. They showed me. What, CIB? Yeah, well, I wouldn't go overboard on what they say. Mike, it's his signature. His private account. Well, private from me, anyway. Who knows? Maybe he was scared I'd marry him for his money. <laughs> or ask him how he managed to squirrel away 58,000. How much have you got in your savings? I can't believe he let Dad pay for the wedding. Look, if he was on the take, I'd know about it. At least wait to hear his side. I'd love to. It only takes a phone call, Mike. One phone call. I already lied through my teeth. I told them that I knew about the account, so don't give me any lectures on loyalty, OK? Mike, just tell me, did he say anything? to tell me. He wanted to marry you. And why? What could have happened? If he'd made a mistake, I'm not going to suddenly hate him for it. He should know that. Find out.
get rid of them, and then we'll talk. Now, before you say anything... Is that from Kirsty? No, me. How is she? How do you think? You couldn't pick up a phone? Someone is trying to kill me! Yeah? Well, I'll have to get in line. Oh, come on, like who? You've met them! Said they were special branch. An SO? NSYS? No, CIB. What, our source turns up dead and you do a runner? What do you expect? They're a death squad, Mike! They've got orders to shoot me on sight! What have you been up to? Whatever they've told you, it's bollocks! What about Pollard? You kept that quiet. Well, that was Furman's shout. Furman? What do you think we're doing out here? Your phone will be tapped. Tomorrow night, here! What do you want me to do? Help me! Find out who is in charge. What do I tell Kirsty? You can't tell her anything. Look, I'm telling her you're OK. I'm not OK. They want to kill me. Ah, they showed me that before. Having like it. I told him they wouldn't listen. What, you got that good look at him? Well, he was right in my face. Went right into me. What are you like from memory? 50 quid. It could be Rembrandt for all I care. He's one witness. I've got half a dozen. And who brought them in? Your man, Vaughan. Ask him. Who are they, Paul? Because they're not CIB. Yes, I know they check out. I know people who work there, they've never heard of them. I just want to know what's going on. When you find out, let me know. Whoever they are, they've got clout. So I just let them get on with whatever it is they're doing. Fitting them up. Don't get confused about who's running this. And don't forget, you work for us, not his missus. Excuse me. You got a minute? Don't give a shit about his finances. OK. That is a transcript of a phone conversation between Pollard and Jack five days before his death. Tapes day, if you want to check it out. They talk of a payment of 2000 Jack paid for his honeymoon the next day in cash. How long have you had Jack under surveillance? Not Jack. Pollard. Then where were you the night before last? He gave us the slip. Well, that doesn't sound difficult. You saw Jack last night? No. Whatever he's telling you, he's not being straight with you. Yeah, unlike you. Now, I know you two boys go back a long way, but he stopped being your friend two nights ago. Now, and now he's using you. Yeah, excuse yeah, me. Now, hold on a minute. Hey, hey! Don't take everything he says as gospel. Jack had beat us to the altar. Who's the unlucky lady? Kirsty. You're joking. What? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. You thought she was sweet, didn't you? Well, I suppose it'd be nice for him to be the grown-up for a change. She's not bimbo. She's a teacher now. She's qualified. Anyway, why are you bothered? 
Well, I thought he might invite me. Or did you veto that? Why would I? I don't know. Look, don't get me wrong, it's, it's really nice catching up and everything, but what I need is a yes or a no. What do you think I am? Some kind of free informant that you can run back to every time you want to cut corners? I've never asked you for anything. Well, what makes you think you can start now? It's not as easy these days. I've already told you they're not CIB. Don't get greedy. What, you can't dig up a couple of histories? I don't think you know what you're asking. And you can't go through official channels for this. Believe it or not, crawling on my hands and knees to you is not my idea of fun. Might be mine, though. She says you know where he is. She says you've even seen him. Is that right? Look, he didn't call you because he's terrified. He just doesn't want you involved. Mike, I am involved. Look, he's going to have to face the music sooner or later, and if he wants me to stick by him, he's got a funny way of going about it. You can't cut me out of this. Either you tell me what's going on, or you leave and you don't come back, and I mean it. Thinks they're trying to kill him. It's got me half believing it. Why? I'm trying to find out. Well, why doesn't he go to the police? What does she want to know? If I'd seen him. No. She wanted to know if I have. Ah, you can't stay here. Have you still got those flights, or did you cancel? Are you off your head? I'm not going on a honeymoon now. What good do you think you can do here? At least put his mind at rest. Please, Mike. You have got to let me see him. He asked me to make sure you were safe. Yeah, well, that works both ways. I'm not budging until I see him. Yeah, well, I'll make sure he gets the message.
Code 5 neutralized. Send in the cleaners. Vaughan Rice was in the army, discharged after the Gulf War, post-traumatic stress. Most of his troop were wiped out in a friendly fire incident. Angela March was a haematologist. She retired about the same time. Her husband and daughter drowned in a car accident. Can't quite see her being recruited for covert operations. Yeah, if those aren't just cover stories. Excuse me, I do this for a living. So how come you can't find out what they're doing now? Michael, do you know how much I risked to get this? I didn't just crib it off a screen. Who's these? Mind your own business. Tear gas, you say? Yeah, well, it looked like it, but it must have been passed at sale by day. All it did was stink. It's worse than garlic. They're like charcoal. Do you know what these are? Dum-dums. Cross makes it fragment on impact, makes sure it lodges in the body. Totally illegal. I found this thing like a stun grenade stuff full of shrapnel. It's graphite, carbon, whatever that is. I'm not being much help, am I? You are. Believe me. Don't give up your day job, Mr. Cofield. Do you know where Jack is? Yeah, like I'm going to tell you. You should. We're all on the same side. You must know by now what we're dealing with. No, I know what you think you're dealing with. I can't help that. You believe Jack is still your friend? Well, whatever he's done, he doesn't deserve a death sentence. I'm afraid that was carried out three nights ago. Before you last met. I'll tell you what, shall I just, um, I'll just sit here and nod, shall I? 
Is that going to speed things up? We can't make you believe. It's all right. Only they can do that. If you survive the experience, we'll talk again. Who shall I ask for? I'm sure Jack and his friends are very interested. All yours. Why don't you take him off? I'll give you an excuse. Oh, yeah. How's your new job? It's not safer than Desert Storm, yeah? Well, it must be. You know, where I was standing, there was, what, six of you for one unarmed man? Nice odds if you can get them. You sit down. Come on. What have you got to lose? I doubt very much they do call marshals here. Get rid of him. Wooden ammo? Carbon. State of the art. But then so are we. Blimey. Didn't take you long to sign up. Pension good, is it? Don't give me the silent treatment. Can we at least have a civilized conversation? Old time's sake. What's to say? What did they say about me? I mean, what did they say to wipe away ten years? Did you have a choice? Absolutely. I could stick around, do ten to fifteen for corruption. I could go on the run. Or I could go all the way. Did you know what they were into when you were taking their money? Well, they don't exactly advertise it, and I can see why now. People go a bit funny. People you thought you knew. Why do they need money? I thought you lot were only after one thing. We are. And we don't have to kill to get it. Then what's the money for? They want to wipe us out. So we had to get organized. That takes money. <laughs> so what, it's self-defense, is it? You've seen the way they operate. Stay there. We know it's got Vatican money. The Congregation of the Doctrine of the Faith, I think they call it now. They changed the name. Used to be the Inquisition. Your new friends. I mean it. Mostly we do our own surveillance work, but there are places we can't get to. That's where you came in. How far did you get? 
Did they tell you I was evil? It's what the church always says, Mike. Women, black, disabled, gay. Now us. Do you like living in the Middle Ages? No. That won't do it. You want the heart. <sighs> We're part of nature. So smallpox. Oh, charming. I'm a virus, am I? Stop. Is that what I am? Vermin. Let's ask Kirsty. What do you think? You really have got a thing about her, haven't you? If you help us, I'll leave her alone. I'll leave you both alone. Don't owe them anything. It's a priest who runs it, isn't it? He's got God. He doesn't need you. One way or another, you're going to work for us. You don't have to go all the way. I can't let you do that. Suicide is not an informed choice, my God. <laughs> Never as bad as it looks. Are you sure this is your blood? There's no bite there. You can pick him up now. I do know how you feel. Mm. 
What if it's not treated? It heals over in minutes. Most people don't even know they've been infected. It makes you very susceptible to suggestion. They don't need to dirty their hands much. They get asked to do it for them. So what have we got? Where's all the crosses? Holy water. Jury's out on that. It's a bit like homeopathy. It's a question of faith on both sides. They can be superstitious too. In my opinion, religion is a placebo, which isn't to say placebos can't work. Why is all this kept quiet? I mean, the body turns out drained. It doesn't happen. Successful parasites don't kill their host. They don't drain their prey unless they want to recruit, and they're very careful about who they recruit. Like we are. Thanks, Father. I've got a job. You're happy where you are, after what you've seen. Sorry, I don't think I've got what it takes. Oh, I heard you did. <laughs> that was self-defense, not a career move. And the rest of society? Who defends them? Look, am I under arrest or what? Why did you join the police? Was it to help others or just yourself? Yeah, I joined the police, not the army. There's plenty of Vaughns around to recruit them. Actually, there aren't. In any case, I need investigators, not soldiers. I don't see a lot of investigating going on. Well, that's why we need people like you. Well, I don't need people like you. You don't have any questions, then? What did you do with his body? Jesus. How long has this outfit been running? This modest collection represents about seven years' work. The tip of an iceberg, I'd say. Who knows about this? I mean, who's paying? The Pope? The Church doesn't like to talk about evil these days, no. You're paying. We're all paying. You've got full government backing for this? Why not? It's a public health issue. A defence issue. <coughs> Can't you at least let his family have him? I'm afraid not. Well, he's dead now, isn't he? Neutralised. They can regenerate. We just don't know how. Until we do, all these specimens are viable. It's a prison, not a cemetery. You're not the only one. We've all lost someone. That's why we're here. It's called a vocation. Yeah, vendetta and all that. These aren't isolated cases. They're organising for a reason. And what for? They don't want to wipe us out. They need us. Exactly. So what's changed? Our capacity for self-destruction. It grows at an exponential rate. You're right, of course. They don't mean us any harm. They want to save us. It doesn't sound so bad. And the only way they can save us is by controlling us. If people like you don't take a stand now, do you know where your loved ones are going to be in 50 years' time? Battery farms. Believe me, our free-range days are over. He was on the take. But you believed him the other day. What's happened? He told me the truth. He told you? I don't believe this. No, you are lying. You know I wouldn't do that.
I'm saying none of us really knew him. I would have forgiven him. You did tell him that, didn't you? You said he was sorry. Did he? Did he? I think he must have taken it with him.